Hello, my name is Christopher. Today I'm going to show you how to install Notify.sh on COS OS. This makes it to where you can have your notifications on your self-hosted installation and use a curl request to send the notification to, uh, to this instance. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over Home Labs, I'm going to install things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So this makes it to where you can have push notifications uh, to your phone, everything like that. So it's 100% free software. It's got a REST API. Uh, are you send a push notification from your app or script? And there it is. And then you receive notifications on your phone. You can subscribe to topics on your phone and, uh, and, and have action buttons, icons, tags, and emojis. You can send files to your phone or your computer. Get notified on your computer right there. And then you can integrate with your favorite tools. So we're going to use the self-hosted version of this and get it up and running. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description. So I'm going to go to how to install Notify.sh on COS OS right here. And then I'm going to go to Docker Compose Notify SH.yaml right here. And then I'm going to start with Docker Compose version 3. I'm going to set some services. And the first service will be Notify Service right here. And then I'm going to specify a Docker image. And I'm going to use uh, the, the, this one off of Docker Hub. And then the name of the running container is going to be Notify. The command to run uh, the service is, is command serve. Then the environment variables, uh, the optional are time zone UTC. You can ch change this to your time zone. I'm going to do some volume mappings. So data, app data, notify, cache. Then on the container side, it's var, cache, notify. So do not change anything on the right side here. Because this is the container side. You can only change the host side if you want to. And then data, app data, notify, config. And then in the container is etc no notify. I'm going to have some port mapping. So I'm going to uh, map 7200 to 80 on the container. You can change the host port. Don't change the container's port. I'm going to set a restart policy of unless stopped. So this, this means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. So that's what the Docker Impose is about. So I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. And then it's copied. So we're going to go over to our Casa OS and get this installed. So I'm going to be on my Casa OS now. And I'm going to go to App Store. Go to Custom Install up here. Go to Import. And then I'm going to paste it in. Once that's done, I'm going to submit. Okay. Then I'm going to give it a name. So, sh. So, notify.sh. And then I'm going to have to give it a URL for the icon. So, I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go right here. So, I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go backwards over to my COS OS again. Then I'm going to paste it in. There you go. We got the icon. So I'm going to give the web UI port. So 7200. And then I'm going to check if the volumes are correct. They look like they are. So everything looks correct. So I'm going to press install now. I'm going to continue in background. And... It should be up, so I'm going to, uh, you can open it right here. You can set tips if you want to. And then you can go back to settings. And whenever you change anything in here, you press the save button. You can go over here to terminal logs, great for debugging. You can go over here and export your Docker Compose. Then I'm going to exit. And then now you can check for updates for the current tag that it's on. 
and then uninstall, restart, power off and on. So now once we have it installed, I'm going to open it right now. So I'm going to click on it. It looks like it's working. So you can see all the notifications if you're subscribed to a topic. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to a topic real quick. I'm going to generate a name. Then I'm going to subscribe. And then I'm going to just test it out. See if it's working. Looks like it is. So you can change the display name. You can send a, te a test notification. You can clear all notifications. You can mute the notifications. You can unsubscribe. And that does away with it. You can go ahead and you can go ahead and publish notifications. So I'm going to subscribe to one real quick. Copy it. Then subscribe again. And you can go ahead and test. And then you can go ahead and um, send. There you go. And you can click a URL. So you can put a URL in. Attach a file by URL. Different things like that. So that's really neat. You can go into settings. You can change the notification sound. You can change the minimum priority. Delete the notifications after one week. Never. Things like that. You can add users, but this is added to the local storage on your browser. And then you can change the theme to dark and light mode. You can change the language. So that's how to get notified.sh working on Casa OS. So there you have it. How to get notified.sh working on Casa OS. So if you liked the tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down our YouTube description and join our Big Bear community. Uh, it's on Discord. So stay tuned for more.